What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is your first time here. My name is Israel. Thank you for tuning in today's video. I just want to make a quick watch list for you guys for stocks to watch tomorrow. Okay, so I got three tickers BBIG, ATER, and NURO. Start with BBIG. Let's get right into it. This is the max chart. Okay, so as you can see here, it's weekly candles. And it's the max available data that Thinkorswim has. So starting with that, let's start marking up some levels that we are getting close to. So we got this. Let's mark this candle right here. Let's mark this area. Let's make it a nine. Uh, let's mark this wick 960. And then this is the all time high 1163. And then we got this area right here, 946, which is the recent high of the stock on this last move, okay? So now let's switch to one year, one day. These are the daily candles. And uh, let's mark where the stock is currently because you, you guys know it kept going after hours. So up here you can see that the bid is at 767. So let's draw a little line right here at 767 that's where the current price is okay let's edit this let's make it let's make it another color to differentiate so that this is the current price so as you can see we skipped through these all these resistance right here on very very nice volume okay so we have resistance here and all this resistance was taken care of okay so right now we got we're gonna have this eight dollar psychological level to break through and then we have this resistant level coming on top. This resistant level, you have to pay attention to the volume, okay? When you are on your platform, pay attention to the volume that traded back on these days so you can compare. So as you can see here, we traded over 200 million shares. That volume take, took care of all this area, okay? Because remember, to break through a resistance, your volume needs to be higher then that volume on that day, the resistance was created, that supply zone was created. So on volume, we did great. And I expected to gap up Monday morning, maybe over $8, but pay it, just remember guys, okay? If you are not in it, you don't have a position and you are trying to get in, just remember, wait for a pullback, okay? Wait for a pullback, don't buy the top. It's gonna pull back. I, I, I promise you, it's going to pull back. So the most effective pullback is probably gonna be at the open. That's probably, if it just doesn't get crazy and starts halting up, that will probably be the time to get in. Wait for a pullback. Again, I cannot say this enough. Wait for the pullback, because then you're gonna buy the top, then it's gonna pull back, and then you are gonna be already messed up in your head because you bought in and just like that, you're in the red. So these are the levels for BBIG. I think this can go over $10 on Monday. We will see, I cannot tell the future, that's just assumptions, okay? Assuming that we're gonna have some crazy volume, the options flow on Friday was extremely bullish. It was like 90% calls versus 10% puts. So, you know, there is some crazy unusual options flow for BBIG on Friday. So that always tells you that somebody knows something that is going to happen. A lot of call selling, very bullish. Everything is very, very bullish, okay? Plus, you gotta factor in the FOMO. A lot of people are gonna start FOMO into this thing. A lot of shorts gonna have to cover because I guarantee you, a lot of shorts suffered on Friday. So the next ticker that I want to talk about is ATER. ATER is being taken a beat, okay? I, I am not familiar with the fundamentals of the company. Quick disclaimer, all right? This is technical analysis, just reading what we got in front of us on this screen. So what I'm looking at here right now is this gap that it has. It's got this gap to fill at about $8.20. Current price, bid ask, bid is at $7.41. Okay, so you, you you got some room there. Now, these are some levels that I will be watching. You have, this was, it was just constant selling pressure, okay? A lot of sell-off. Let's do this. Let's add here 
the uh, volume profile to see how is the volume looking by price okay so let's add that real quick and that's that's what I thought again so there is not a lot of really really heavy supply zones ahead you're gonna have this gap level that is gonna be a very strong psychological level that it could fill and get rejected so that is something to keep an eye on uh, this gap could be filled by the open on Monday because it could probably gap up and fill this gap so again I will wait for a pullback on this one I currently don't have a position on ATER but I will be looking to enter because as you can see there is not a lot of supply guys so this thing could go up quite quick okay there is not like this look at this a volume here at this price level compared to up here you can see there is there is a nice gap right here so this could be a nice target because the the supply starts getting heavier about fifteen dollars for yeah fourteen sixties fifteen dollars that's when we start seeing some supply built up up here from all this it was resistance here it was support here and it was resistance here okay so that's why you have this massive supply area right here because you got a bunch of back holders from back here okay people that buy in the dip and it kept dipping that's exactly what happened here so this area this $15 area is gonna be hard but again we are kind of far from there so I will be looking at the $10 psychological level and again I will be looking into a rejection once it closes the gap I would like it to get rejected a bit and that's where I would open a position a starting position give me myself some wiggle room to add into it and of course it's going to depend on the volume and the price action come tomorrow okay so ATER keep it on keep it on your watch list and the last one is NURO I do have a position on NURO again this is a, we already seen what it can do not a lot of supply ahead a lot of shorts I think last time last thing I read about 40% of the float was short short it is a it is if I'm not mistaken it has a it has sort of a of a tiny uh float let's check it out real quick I think it's like 15 million shares something like that maybe if my uh you know my internet works check it out real quick and you are okay five million shares in the float guys and about 40 percent is held short this thing could go nutty and this is why I liked the most about NURO uh, on Friday okay so let's look intraday and let's look at 10 minute candles this right here before the close okay I was looking at it when it was up here did not have a position when it was up here and it started selling off it started selling off big time okay one thing I was also keeping an eye on I was watching SPRT that started cracking at the same time but if you look at the volume the volume tells the story guys if you look at the volume it's not like it's selling off on high volume it felt like they were walking it down that's what it felt like especially look at this look at this 10 minute candle this is nasty this is a nasty candle right here but look at the volume nothing high compared to all this green volume for the size of this candle the size of this move and this volume that's when I was like this looks like a trap here it feels pretty trappy and then it started reclaiming okay it started reclaiming and I was like okay SPRT continues to crack down I know a lot of shorts probably jumped started jumping in the smart shorts started jumping in up here then you got the shorts watching SPRT2 jumping in here and then you got a bunch of rookie shorts just chasing this thing down because just as long long buyers chase the rips shorts will also chase the dips those are just not the smart shorts okay so once it reclaimed VWAP that's when I was like I'm in baby I'm in so I have a position in about this area right here 
That VWAP reclaim was very powerful. After this move and then this reclaim, look at this action from this low to the high. That was a 40% move right there. Okay? That was a very, and the thing, again, the thing that pretty much triggered my attention real quick, it was the volume on this candle was so low. When you have a, let's see, from 1696, the high is 1697 to a low of 1431, that's over two points. Over two points. And the volume is this low? Nah. That was a short trap right there, okay? And then it ran to 20, pulled back, lost the 13 EMA, and bam, right up, reclaimed the 13 EMA, okay? So that's why I got in on NIU, NURO. Short is very small. Uh, float, float is very small. It's a very small flow, 5 million shares. About 40% is held short. So, and again, not a lot of supply on the daily not a lot of supply up here so it could easily put one of these numbers and i am not saying it will and again i will say this don't buy the rips who wait for a pullback watch the volume watch the price action and wait for your entry let the stock come to you you don't go to it okay so that's all I got, guys. B B I G A T E R N N U R O. If you enjoyed this video, all I ask of you is to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you notice there is no more ads playing on the video, I'm pissed with YouTube. I put on Twitter that I'll probably even try to get my ads on when I get to like 10,000 subscribers. So enjoy some ad-free videos. I ain't trying to get no money from your views. Just a like. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.